hello friends and welcome to shri tech education youtube video channel in today's lecture we are going to study the problems on finding equivalent spring stiffness and natural frequency of free longitudinal vibration in last lecture we have studied how to find the natural frequency of free longitudinal vibration there are three methods to find out the natural frequency of free longitudinal vibration energy method equilibrium method and release method by all these three methods we have found one formula to find out the natural frequency that is fn is equal to 1 upon twice pi square root k by m where k is stiffness m is mass attached to the spring and we have also studied how to find the equivalent spring stiffness if the springs are in series and springs are in parallel combination so same thing i have tabulated here to find out the equivalent spring stiffness in case of series the formula for equivalent spring st stiffness or constant we have got is 1 upon k equilibrium sorry 1 upon k equivalent is equal to 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon k2 for this diagram given in the table for springs in series where k1 and k2 are springs in series therefore formula i have got is 1 upon k equivalent is equal to 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon k2 for springs in parallel in that diagram second diagram k1 and k2 springs are in parallel their formula we have got is k equivalent is equal to k1 plus k2 in case of springs in series observe in that diagram k1 and k2 springs are in series then force is equally distributed in both the springs whereas their elongation or deflection is different x1 is not equal to x2 in case of springs in parallel the force is not equally distributed in the springs k1 and k2 but their deflection is constant x1 and x2 are equal remember these two things deflection in case of springs in parallel is same whereas force in case of springs in series is same if you remember this table it will be easier for you to solve the problems you will solve your problem based on the equivalent spring stiffness and finding natural frequency in last video lecture i have given one problem to solve you by yourself and that problem is what is the equivalent spring stiffness for this diagram in that diagram one mass is there and five springs are there towards left hand side four springs are there in which k and 2k springs are in parallel combination and other springs are in series k and 3k that parallel combination and towards right hand side one spring is there that is 2k attached to that mass and both the ends are fixed to grounds now for this problem we will find out the equivalent spring stiffness so first find out the equivalent spring stiffness between the springs k and 2k which are in the parallel combination that can be found by the formula 2k plus k why because if springs are in parallel combination we know that the equivalent spring constant can be found by k1 plus k2 that is addition of these two spring stiffnesses therefore here addition we have done 2k plus k we have got 3k now in this third diagram now in second diagram these three springs are in series now which three springs having stiffness k then ke1 and 3k if springs are in such a series then we know the formula to find equivalent spring stiffness as 1 upon ke2 that will be my equivalent spring stiffness for these three springs in series is equal to 1 upon k plus 1 upon ke1 plus 1 upon 3k instead of ke1 i have written there 3k so ke2 value i have got is equal to 3k by 5 now this 3k by 5 in terms of point also i can write that is 0.6k 
k to i have got 0.6 k now this 0.6 k that is k to sp spring stiffness and 2 k are attached to mass at one side and on another side they are fixed to ground now if such a th such a case is there in that case if I deflect that mass then whatever compression of stiffness spring having stiffness 2k same will be elongation of k to spring and when k to spring compresses k to 2k spring elongates and that elongation and compression are also same that means deflection in this case is same for both the springs attach on both side of that mass in figure number three such a case is there if springs are in parallel combination see deflection is same that is x1 is equal to x2 when deflection is same when springs are in parallel combination here in this figure number three deflection is deflection will be same therefore k2 and 2k springs are in parallel combination to find out equivalent spring stiffness of these two we can use the for we can use the formula of addition of these two stiffnesses that is k2 plus 2k that means equivalent spring stiffness ke is equal to 0.6k plus 2k we will get, get it 2.6k this will be equivalent spring stiffness for this combination of springs so this is the answer k is equal to 2.6k now next one more problem we will solve in previous problem we have only found the equivalent spring stiffness now in next problem we will find out the natural frequency of this combination of spring and mass so problem is what is the natural frequency of spring and mass system as shown in figure given that k1 is equal to 1000 newton per meter k2 is equal to 3000 newton per meter k3 is equal to k4 is equal to 2000 newton per meter find sorry and m is equal to 10 kg you have to find out natural frequency now we know that the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration is fn is equal to 1 upon twice pi square root k by m where k is k equivalent that is equivalent spring stiffness to find out frequency we first need to find out equivalent spring stiffness that is ke now this ke for this figure at the right corner we can find out as observe carefully in the figure k1 and k2 springs are at the top at the bottom of that mass k3 and k4 springs are there and on the both side of these two springs are attached to mass as well as ground now spring number 3 and 4 are in series combination are in series combination whereas spring number k1 and k2 are in parallel combination first apply the formula for this parallel combination for the springs k1 and k2 therefore k1 is equal to k1 plus k2 put the values and get k1 is equal to 4000 newton per meter now for the springs k3 and k4 which are in series apply the formula that is 1 upon k2 is equal to 1 upon k3 plus 1 upon k4 from that k2 i will get as 1000 newton per meter do the calculation observe the calculation pause the video do calculation by your own and check whether it's the same answers are there or not for springs in series combination that will be answer ke2 is equal to 1000 newton per meter now this first diagram will be now converted into that second diagram having equivalent spring stiffness ke1 and ke2 now to that mass these two springs are attached on both side and these two springs are attached to ground also therefore in such a cases previously also we, I have told if such a case is there then elongation of ke1 spring is equal to compression of ke2 spring and 
compression of ke1 spring is equal to elongation of ke2 spring therefore that is the displacement or elongation of both the springs is equal in this case therefore springs are in parallel combination therefore apply the formula for parallel combination ke is equal to ke1 plus ke2 therefore equivalent spring stiffness finally i have got is equal to ke1 plus ke2 that is 5000 newton per meter put this value of ke in the formula of natural frequency you will get the natural frequency as 3.56 hertz so this is the problem next one more problem is there in that also you have to find out the natural frequency of this spring and mass system whereas given that k1 k2 k3 k4 and k5 stiffnesses is equal to 5000 newton per meter and mass is equal to 10 kg now observe in that diagram right corner diagram which is given in the problem k1 and k2 springs are in parallel combination whereas k3 and k4 are in series k5 is again parallel to k1 and k2 therefore apply formula for parallel combination springs that is k1 k2 and k5 which are in parallel combination k1 k2 and k5 therefore i have written in the first diagram k1 plus k2 plus k5 which is formula for springs in parallel combination now k3 and k4 are in the series then apply the formula for series combination you will get 1 upon k1 is equal to 1 upon k3 plus 1 upon k4 after simplifying that i have got it is equal to k3 into k4 divided by k3 plus k4 this is formula for springs in series combination k3 and k4 now k1 plus k2 plus k5 and springs in series k3 and k4 these springs will be in the parallel combination again therefore formula will be addition of these two stiffnesses will be there that is finally i can write equivalent spring stiffness ke is equal to k1 plus k2 plus k5 plus that k3 k4 divided by k3 plus k4 this will be k equivalent put the values of stiffnesses in that k equivalent formula you will get 17500 newton per meter and put this k equivalent in the formula of natural frequency that is fn is equal to 1 upon twice pi square root k by m that is ke by m you will get the frequency as 6.65 hertz pause the video do the calculation on your own now next problem is <clears throat> this problem we have solved in last video lecture also but again we will solve same problem now in this problem also when mass is attached to this spring combination and that mass is 160 gram and the stiffnesses of spring is k1 for 500 newton per meter k2 and k3 800 newton per meter what is the natural frequency of spring and mass system having three springs connected in series and parallel as shown in figure now observe that first figure carefully k2 and k3 are in parallel combination therefore apply formula for parallel combination that is k2 plus k3 will be k2 3 this will be for parallel combination then this will be converted into now k1 and k2 3 will be in the series combination apply formula for series combination that is 1 upon k is equal to 1 upon k1 plus 1 upon k2 3 therefore k that is equivalent spring stiffness or it can be said as ke is equal to 380.95 newton per meter put this k equivalent in the formula of natural frequency fn is equal to 1 upon twice pi square root k by m frequency of what is 7.76 hertz so same type of one more problem is there but just combination of spring is different now here one mass attaches 10 kg at one end of spring and spring stiffnesses are 
k is equal to 5000 newton per meter all spring stiffnesses are k k and 2k what is the natural frequency of spring and mass system having three springs connected in parallel and series combination as shown in figure now observe in that figure to find out frequency first we need to find out equivalent spring stiffness therefore equivalent spring stiffness we will find for this combination k and k springs are connected in parallel first if springs are in parallel therefore equivalent spring stiffness we will find out k1 is equal to k plus k or we can say it as a ke1 or k1 k1 is equal to k plus k therefore put the values of k is equal to 5000 you will get k1 is equal to 1000 sorry 10000 newton per meter now this combination we have got k1 is equal to for these two springs in parallel is in series with 2k therefore apply formula for springs in series that is 1 upon k is equal to 1 upon 2k plus 1 upon k1 therefore k is we have got is equal to by simplification is equal to 5000 newton per meter this will be spring and mass system now k and mass m is equal to 10 kg therefore formula for such spring and mass system is for natural frequency is 1 upon twice by square root k by m put the value of k is equal to 5000 and we will get the frequency equal to 3.56 hertz so we have solved four problems in this video lecture and one previous problem for finding equivalent spring stiffness by using these all formulas you remember these formulas of equivalent spring stiffness to find out the natural frequency thanks for watching my videos subscribe to this channel and stay connected thank you